In this video, we are going to learn the correct method to assess the area psoas and quadriceps tightness or muscle length. To perform the Thomas test, the patient is going to be made to sit at the edge of the couch as close to the edge as possible. And now from here, the patient is going to be asked to take the non-tested side hip and knee into flexion and closer to the chest. And this position is going to be maintained by the patient's clasped hands. And from here, we are going to ask the patient to just lie down backwards. Now this position not only helps in maintaining the correct position of the pelvis, but it also ensures that the lumbar spine remains flattened during the test. Now to assess the iliopsoas, the therapist is next going to observe the position of the tested side hip joint as well as that of the position of the thigh with respect to the floor. Now if the thigh is parallel to the floor and on passive springing of the thigh into extension, it does not feel rigid, then this means that the iliopsoas on the tested side has normal length. But on the other hand, if the tested side hip and thigh are not touching the couch or are not parallel to the floor and instead remains in some degree of flexion or they remain parallel to the floor but are rigid on passive springing, then this indicates that this particular iliopsoas is tight. Similarly, the next therapist is going to observe the position of the knee joint during the testing. Now ideally the knee should remain flexed to around 90 degrees and if the knee flexion is less than 50 degrees then it can suggest that the patient is prone for future hamstring strain or injuries. Now because the quadriceps is a two joint muscle crossing the hip as well as the knee joint if the examiner further passively springs the hip into extension and if this leads to knee extension or further extension of the knee then this also confirms that the quadriceps muscle is tight and this can be further reconfirmed with the prone knee bend test. Now here is an extra information for physio classroom viewers that is during the Thomas test if the examiner finds there is a prominent groove on the lateral side of the thigh and the thigh is deviating laterally during the test, then this confirms the tightness of the tensor fascia lata. So this was all about the correct method to assess and interpret the Thomas test. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.